judgment on what you see. So the delay, <coughs> we are using network, uh, mobile networks. We are using, more, even then here, we are using a network to display these results. Uh, because of that, there's bound to be delays. But the good news, because of the mistrust we've experienced, this, the last general elections, we have put in place a situation where all political parties will be having, will be having accounts logged into this system to also, at the same time you are receiving the forms, you're also able to see those forms to allay any fears of any manipulation of these results. Secondly, whatever uh, is being shown here is just the forms. The picture of the form as it was taken in the polling station. So since we emphasize that there is no text, uh, no manipulation is possible. We are showing that form as it was filled and captured at the polling station. And all of you will be receiving these forms using your accounts at any time. The media, political parties, and all stakeholders who request access to the system. At the same time you are accessing like this, you can access from your offices, from wherever you are, to uh, interrogate whatever results are being received. Thank you. So the next question is from this gentleman here. I think we take a couple of questions, and please ask a question, don't give a lecture. Ask a question. Thank you very much. My name is Gary Oiti, party leader, Alternative uh, Party of Kenya. I'm asking a question on behalf of all Kenyans. There's a trend when the results are being transmitted on the screen, and it normally happens between one to two in the morning. You find that the, tra the, the results are being transmitted on the screen and then all of a sudden it stops and the screen turns blue. I'm asking the IEBC, what normally happens? If it's a problem of the backup and whatnot, let's resolve it here and uh, put our government on check so that everything can be backed up including the system of uh, internet, electricity, and everything. Because this time round, we don't want any excuse. That was the question from all Kenyans. Thank you very much. Okay, next question next to you. We'll take a couple Thank of Thank you very questions. much. Now, mine is about the administrative processes here. We have 471 forms that have arrived now. We are assuming that now, is voting day, isn't it? In this premise, Bwana IT man, we expect 471 forms to have been downloaded in real time and being processed. Will that infrastructure be there so that it, they can be tallied here? Secondly, I see that some of the forms are quite grainy. So they are a bit hazy and all these is it possible for the clarity of those images to be improved? And finally, about the portal where Wanainchi and everybody should be able to log in and see the results. I think if each one of us has a Safaricom account and each one of us has an email, it is possible for every Kenyan to access these results not only political parties, civil society, or accredited stakeholders. Let us make sure that every, is it possible that every Kenyan can have access to this? Thank you. Uh, there was a question at the back there. Is Mulu, hello. Can the mic, the media people are complaining about this screen. Can we have this screen shut down? emitting a lot of light. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you and good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mule Musao from the Elections Observation Group. Uh, a quick questions. Uh, one, uh, the time factor, uh, because now we are doing 471 and uh, we have done over 20 minutes on that. So that's a first concern in terms of how long it may take. 
Second, uh, there's a question about the criteria for the establishment of the 2,900 uh, uh, polling stations. I know that uh, we were informed that it is about it's two uh, polling stations per ward, but then which, which polling stations inside those uh, wards. Uh, the third question is on question of uh, confirming whether this data is coming from those polling stations. How can the stakeholders who are here confirm that this is actually coming from the particular polling stations that you've identified. Uh, and then there is a question of um, the legibility. I think somebody has asked that question, so I'm not going to ask that question. But are we also testing the satellite, uh, the ones that are not able to transmit this way? Are we also using this opportunity to test them? Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, there was one down there. Yes. Thank you. My name's Azef Aura. I'll try to be a little bit technical. Um, can I see the form? The form. Form 34A. Yeah, we will. Can okay. upload, just continue asking your questions. Yeah. Um, just go to the bottom of the form. Just scroll down, please. Okay, there you are. Not, not so far. I, I know it is not abstract that figures can be changed between polling station and constituents Italy center. And particularly now that you are admitting that it is possible we may have about 700,000 votes that may not be able to be transmitted real time, either those images to the national tally or the constituency tally. Now, for example, and I've been to many elections, if, for example, you have 198 for a candidate or the total is 198 in total. Then a crafty sir, along the way change that one to four. And with a preferred candidate being altered to match that. I know you will be seeing that um, uh, the, the reforms given to agents, and you know you've cleared four candidates. Some of them may not have a party to deploy in every polling station. My prayer, it is not a question, my prayer, if this form is not final, can you provide for what bit of figure, so like 302 being total, where it is written 3 Hundred and two, being the total. Allow me go to the next question. That is, if this form can still be uh, redesigned, please provide for word to accompany the letters, the figures. Number two, and and I think it is sad for some of us that the country makes several steps forward and we make several steps going backward. I vividly remember Judge Milu's statement when he was asking, I think your lawyer, Nyamudi, I think, that, let me put it the way she did, uh, where is this black box where results from polling station would go in and comes out differently? In your proposal of the way you are going to transmit results, that particular concern is not being addressed. Finally, uh, uh, Prof, I think I foresee a disaster. And this is the disaster I'm foreseeing. You will have coalition or presidential candidates with capacity to deploy agents in every polling station. 
<coughs> excuse me, every polling station. And from polling station, they will be doing what you did in 2017. One, transmitting the images to their tally center, whatever they will call it, or command, or whatever. And two, they will be transmitting figures, text, to their command center. You are talking of media will be hooked to your constituency and national tally. Then you have this of efficient party or candidate where the command center in the second day, early morning of the second day, is giving Kenyans a picture of all results from polling stations. You, you are still struggling with yours at, at, at constituency level, but the country has seen whether altered or not. I know you are going to tell me that is the law, but we have this candidate has 8 million, they are done, third day, you are still struggling at, poly, at constituency tally center with your form 34As, then the other one, 6 million, the results have been announced. How are you going to address that, my professor? Chaos Thank you. in this country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, anybody? <laughs> And I'll start with the last one. <laughs> we are taking another round. It's not the end of questions. Oh, must we have gender? Okay. By public demand. That corner. And please, can you be straight to the question? I will try to do that. Uh, when you began the simulation, I'm Veronica Miner, Secretary General UDA. There was a bit of uh, technological failure and an obvious... Hitch. Well, <laughs> call it a hitch, it's okay. Uh, but for a few minutes, we could not see anything on the screen. What is your plan for backup on power at constituency level and at places where transmission will be done? Do you have any plan? I believe this is the National Talent Center. Do you have a very concrete plan on how you back up power? And, and number two, where is this simulation coming from? Is it coming from a satellite phone? Or is it coming from an ordinary phone? Which phone would that be? Could you maybe demonstrate to us which one it is? And does the commission have coordinates for the polling stations which are without 3G Stroke 4G network coverage. Do you have the coordinates for that? How do you intend to transmit from such stations? Where will that transmission come from? And what are the security features on your system? And are you going to give the chief agents access to check the integrity of the system as the transmission is being done? And then from the system, what you have uh, demonstrated here or simulated here, how do we know which forms have come in? For instance, I can see now uh, the number of forms that have streamed in from the screen is uh, 605. Uh, how do we tell as they stream in? And is this the pace that the forms are going to stream in? Because if this then is the pace, then uh, you might need to do some improvement on that uh, result transmission to make it faster. Uh, anybody looking at it can see that pace would take us a long time and it would uh, cause a bit of tension on that. And then how many mobile networks can your BVL kit use? Are you going to use all the mobile networks? And if that be so, I believe uh, the BVL kit has a number of SIM cards. Are they two, are they one, or are they three? And which is your primary network and the secondary network? And how are you going to allocate those networks to all the stations, to all the polling stations across the whole country? Okay, I'll start with the last question. The kit, the kit that is going to be used to transmit the image of the form has a provision for two SIM cards. 
And traditionally, what we have done from 2017, we first of all map the strength of the mobile network operators. And depending on the strengths, the kits, one of them with the highest strength in the area in terms of connectivity becomes the primary uh, SIM. And the other one becomes a backup SIM. So that is the arrangements that we, we have. Now, it says, the other question was, how do we tell which forms have come in? Now, we have provided on the left, call, on the left side the menu that you can use to scroll and drill down to the polling station that you want. On the right, it will give you the global vigor. We have 648. But for you to check the individual forms, you have to drill down using the drop-down menus to find out the exact form that has been, that is uh, for that particular polling station. So again, it is, you search by polling station with the provisions of the menus that are given. You go to the county, constituency, ward, and then you get the location, the polling station. So that is to help you navigate around the, the database that is going to give host to the, the results. I know as the, we are expecting probably more than uh, almost 47,000 polling stations, it will not be practically visible for you to see as they drop in. And I'm sure that is what many people are expecting. But they, as they come in, they are directed to their respective polling station in the drop-down menu uh, locations where they are supposed to go. And so because this is accessible to the public, then the public can check from whichever polling station they are interested or to download or to see uh, through the drop-down menus. I'll, talk, I'll give Mike to talk about security features uh, and, and probably uh, the issue of uh, plan for backup to avoid sh power shortages. Mike? Then I'll come back. I'll, I'll respond to the question on satellite and how do you confirm the result came from the polling station it is alleged to have come from. Uh, each, each form is encrypted with the signature of the tablet uh, from which it came. So you will be able to trace each form to a tablet and each tablet is traceable to a polling station. We will share which tablet has been assigned to which polling station before the election so that you know which tablet is where. And then after that, you, we can prove using the encryption which form, digital certificate, which form is from which tablet. Uh, satellite, yes, we have deployed uh, for this simulation six units of the satellite transmission. It's not a phone, it's called a satellite modem. It's what we'll be using to transmit in areas without network. How many SIM cards? Each tablet has uh, two SIM cards. Which one is primary? Safaricom, because of their, they are the best coverage from in the country. Safaricom will be in each of the 47,000 tablets. Then the secondary will be selected based on network presence, relative network presence of the two other operators in the country. Thank you. Okay. How did we choose the polling stations? We have 1450 wards. We wanted as wide coverage as possible. So for you to have wide coverage, you choose the wards. And within the wards, you choose, we, we chose uh, two uh, stations at random. One relatively easy, the other one more difficult because of network coverage. Um, the, the, the choice 
is such that uh, when you have two in a ward and each constituency has three, four, three, four, five wards, so we are comfortable that we've covered each constituency for this test. And uh, since each county also has a constituency, we have also covered the counties. I hope that addresses the question. Yes, we, we, have, uh, we were testing, in addition, six units of the satellite. Uh, you'll remember in 2017, we procured uh, 1,553 units. Uh, for this test, we were only using six. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. And Marjan, can you take a couple of the remaining questions? Thank you very much for your uh, questions. There was a question of uh, the issue of the clarity of the images. What you are seeing now is basically a photocopy of the uh, sample um, from 34A, which has somebody, the, the, our staff on the other end have just taken the image of that photocopy and uh, sent to us. But during the polling day, you are going to see the original, the original form, colored form, which also has got security features. That it is the image that is going to be taken. So I believe the issue of clarity uh, will probably will actually be addressed. And also, it's a it's a software it's a software issue, so it can be optimized to ensure that uh, the image is as clear as as, as possible. The issue of uh, uh, access to information. It was just, I think, uh, uh, a comment. It was not a question per se. But uh, what we are saying is that uh, everyone, everyone should be able to access the results forms. Because we say there are two ways in which we are going to provide this access. One is through the web portal. And in web portal, anybody can be able to access even using a smartphone. You just go to IBC website where we are going to provide that portal. And you are going to see exactly that and you will now be able to download any form you want from any polling station and from there you should be able to uh, access all the results form for the purpose of stakeholders like media the political parties the candidates the other maybe observer groups and the, and the rest who will be interested to access the form uh, from another uh, another angle we are going to provide access to the same through using what we refer to as application programming interface or API, so they can be able to connect themselves and they can be able to access the results form. In as far as a uh, time factor, I think uh, the, the, the concern is um, how long does the form basically takes to, uh, to reach. This is the concern that is actually being uh, 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 shown here. But um, I want to speak from a, a technical perspective. Um, when a form is being transmitted, and it's being transmitted in a public network, it's not being transmitted in a private network, this public network is being shared. You people and ourselves who are here, you'll be using your smartphone to access using the same, same service provider that we are also using. So what is going to happen is that um, because of routing, of routing uh, um, uh, of that information from one point to the other, definitely we expect that there's going to be distortion or delays. And therefore, we expect that uh, there are going to be delays, but we will work with, uh, with, uh, with, the, uh, with the service providers, that is the MNOs, Safaricom, Airtel, and, uh, and, uh, and Telcom, to make sure that uh, probably it can be fastened. But I can, I can actually tell you for sure, from technical point of view, you, you cannot be able to, uh, to control 
once uh, information gets into the network, it is going to go through a process of switching from one point to the other, from one router to the other router, and ultimately it's going to reach our backend system. And uh, therefore, depending on how the network and the traffic during the polling day is going to be used, it is the way we are going to expect the results to come. So what, what, what we are seeing here is uh, results trickling in randomly. And also, for the purposes of uh, uh, election, and somebody has explained here, is that um, you will expect that maybe immediately after five counting starts, and then there are going to be many which are going to come, and then later on probably the traffic is going to go down up again. Why? I think it's also because, one, people are going to transmit in different times. And two, because also they were assuming that they are also concurrently transmitting the forms at the same time. You, you expect that for eyes purposes, you will say that they are all coming together. But the, 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 the transmission system is able to identify which one has actually been sent first and which one has not been sent first. So the one that has been sent first is going to go through the network processes. And it is now beyond the thinking of, uh, of uh, a human being here. That is what is going to be done by the transmission. So, uh, but what you can do is to work with the uh, uh, MNOs, mobile network uh, service providers, uh, to see if we can be able to optimize and have the information uh, come to us. We are not in control of the traffic in the network. We are not in control of the network, but we want to believe that probably MNOs can be able to assist us uh, in that regard. Figures can be changed on images, maybe at the polling station, but not on images. And the proposal to include the, the word, I think it's good. Um, but the form now does not provide for that at the moment. Uh, I don't know whether at this juncture uh, the commission can be able to add that uh, part, but uh, it's, 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 a, it's a welcome uh, idea because then it fixes the number and the, and the words. So it's actually a, a good proposal that probably the commission can sit and, uh, and, and agree. Um, but uh, once an image has been taken and it is going to be transmitted in your presence, I want to believe that that in itself is also a control in itself. Uh, and then also before, before it is transmitted, we'll have already agreed with the, with the agents, you'll also have your own form, which has now the correct... I want to believe also, there are only four candidates. It's very easy to tell. It's not uh, difficult to even you using your calculator and to see what is the total there. And you agree, yes, this is the total. Then you sign, it is actually... An image is taken, and then it is transmitted. So those are controls. You also, you also take part, taking interest to make sure that we have uh, this uh, image, which is actually uh, the correct image. Uh, it is not just IBC alone, and, and that is why election is about everyone. So please take a keen interest in this process and make sure that you also participate uh, uh, effectively. Um, black box. Somebody talked about black box. I think it's Aura who talked about black box. We, uh, he alluded that one of the Supreme Court judges asked, where is this uh, black box? Uh, Everybody knows that um, when you transmit information from one point to the other, it is not going to be suspended in the air. It's going to be land somewhere. And from a technical point of view, you call it a server. So this server is going to actually host that information. The question is how secure. Probably the, the question is the, the servers that are going to host this information, how secure are, are they? And uh, maybe from a technical point of view, uh, our ICT director can be able to explain. But uh, uh, for the purpose of this discussion, we are using uh, uh, a lot of security in place. One, first of all, from server perspective as a host system, it, uh, uh, we are using hardened uh, uh, server. And also for the purposes of uh, uh, traffic coming from the polling station to the server, uh, like I said before, it is actually going to be, first of all, the information is going to be encrypted and also it's going to pass through a secure path, which is actually a virtual private network. At server level, we are, we are having a lot of um, uh, security. 
and we are using the firewall system to actually secure our 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 server. For those who are in, in uh, technical uh, knowledgeable, they know that a firewall is a single choke point system, whereby there is a perimeter fence. There is only one way of actually uh, 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 accessing the server, and that is actually where control is actually uh, um, um, put in place to ensure that only legitimate uh, users can actually be able to access uh, the same. So you just imagine your house, and uh, you have the the walls, but also on top of it, you have put security fence. And the only way to access your house is through the gate. And at the gate, you will have a watchman who is going to ask you, do you want to see so-and-so? The, the person is going to say, I want to see so-and-so. Is it private or is it official? Let me find out, first of all, whether you, are, you should be allowed to come in. That kind